Hello! Today I will be showing you the progress I have made during one month of game development. The game is an action fishing roguelike, where the player is on a quest to hunt down a massive lake monster. However, he is not strong enough to face the monster yet. So he has to gain money selling fish to get better and more powerful equipment. Catching fish is not as easy as it seems as the lakes are inhabited by creatures that don't appreciate the player stealing their fish. I have been making weekly videos on how the game evolves. It's been a great way for me to keep motivated, as I have forced myself each week to create something that's worthwhile to show on YouTube. I have found this to be very effective to make actual concrete progress on the game, instead of stagnating and spending the week fine-tuning some random small details the player would likely not even notice. Also, the support from the viewers have been incredibly motivating. The channel even reached 200 subscribers yesterday. It makes me so happy that people want to see more of my game. Thank you a lot. I will now quickly recap progress during this first month. Feel free to check out the full devlogs if you are interested in knowing more about the progress I made each week. So, first week, I gave the player movement and made his gun feel nice to shoot with. Second week, I added fishing with nice feeling fishing line physics. And finally, the third week, I added random leg generation. The last week of the month I spent adding some enemies, fishing hotspots and a shotgun. In total I added 6 new enemies. An underwater hiding crocodile that comes back to the surface when close to the player and dashes towards him quickly. A bird that flies towards the player occasionally shooting a bullet at him. A turtle who hides under a damage-resistant shell. It sometimes comes out of hiding to rapidly shoot bubbles in the player's direction. And three different versions of a water spider that slowly dashes towards the player. A small one is the default one, a big one that bursts into multiple smaller ones when killed, and a nest that constantly spawns more small ones until it's destroyed. That's all the enemies. If you have any cool ideas or enemy designs, please let me know, I would love to hear them. The fishing hotspots are areas in the lake where there is an increased chance to catch a fish. You can identify a hotspot from unusual activity in the water, like bubbles on the surface and plants swaying around when there is nothing near them. The catch chance can be further increased by having a cricket on the hook. I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do next, but I think passive items could be relevant to add soon. This wraps up the first month's progress. I hope you have found it interesting. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep updated on the development of this game. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time.